Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cow and Raz playing Warland. We're going to Great Fork Tree. You can tell secretly the, wizard, the tree looks like a big old fork holding a big floppy green sausage. Well, we only see the trunk part because we're in the forest, but the tree is giant. That's where we're going. We're going on the trees of giant leaves. Oh no, Lakitu is around and he's gonna throw a thunderbolt at us. Watch out, Mr. Bread. Watch out indeed. Uh, you can make him shock a wave though. That's not true, but you can make him shock an enemy and I'll earn you ten dollars. One easy ten dollars. Just find people you don't like and make them get shocked by a thunderbolt. It's so easy. Now we get to swim around and snap again. It's a Game Boy game. Like it's one of those things where you have dang it, I was too eager there. I, I couldn't wait a little bit, a little let a little guy go away. You can't go up that little like sap hole. As a kid, I was certain! I was just absolutely super certain that that little entryway there was totally meant to hide some kind of secret birdie flesh lord here with all the money. By all the money, I mean 30 bucks, which is still a lot of money. Like, I don't know, man. I wouldn't say no to getting 30 bucks. 30 bucks is a, is a cool amount of bucks. There you go, give me all these precious coins. It's in three installments, so you know it's good. Check it out. Uh, you know what? I got like so much money right now. I don't even have room to have a face. If you don't have. Whoops. Well, that all went exactly to plan. Look, I can't have other people know my money making secrets, because that will, by definition, devalue the money I got. You gotta be realistic about these things. So, this tree is shaped like a fork. One of the spoke goes up and there's a bunch of rice and rolly. And you can even eat macaron, but you shouldn't though. Uh, one of them is the exit and the other two aren't. Oh, see, this one's the one where there's the big old skull head bone on the top. Pretty mysterious. This is a god of jet. You can just go over to the next. Go over to the next one and get yourself a little shortcut. Uh, you can bounce the key right on top of the play zone. Also known as the head. What's in the middle spot? It's nothing. Well, there's dragons. So, I was right. There's nothing. Got it. Mr. Seahorse likes to swim, but I, I don't like his beans, and so we had a confrontation, and now I'm the only one that's alive. I mean, don't read too much to that part, I'm not a criminal, I am just passionate about brunch type solutions for meals, alright? I'm glad that we could have this discussion. Canopy Zone! We are here, high atop the universe! I found myself a baseball glove! So weird, like, at first they're believable as high treasures, as just, check out the sweet baseball glove. I mean, for certain people, uh, certain sports memorabilia can be extremely expensive. So I guess it just kind of implies that Wario has a buyer. Also, the skull protects the door for a while wasn't there. It was, it was just a big old door. You could enter it any time and go, hey, check it. My name is Wario. I'm here to say that my name is Wario. And I'm here to say that my name is Wario. That I'm here to say and, uh, my name is Wario. And that uh, I'm here to say that my name is Wario. No! Fine, I'll stop, treasure key, but only because you asked so rudely. Alright, let's that's enough laughing at ourselves, Wario. We gotta go to the train station so we can take the train in the other direction. And it kind of contradicts itself. I don't know. Check it out. I am a big guy. That's a duck and it can't fly, so it's stuck on a roof. It's gonna eat pizza for the rest of its life. I did it! So yeah, train levels are unique to this game now. They are train levels. And Mario, like, it knows about tanks, it knows about airships, but an actual vehicle used by everyone, 
Oh, wow, well, that see the train's going in the way opposite. I guess unless um, the level represents the journey we go through. And so, like, if, if, I don't know though, because we're maybe. Well, trains on video game maps tend to be pretty confusing because they don't ever tell you the name of the conductor. And as anyone who has ever rode a plane before, knowing who the conductor is is key in having a good quality happy flight. Uh, because once you're back at, you know, the crown land, uh, normally they make you play a little word game. Uh, and knowing the name of uh, the pilot typically gives you a big hint, you know, in what the file solution is. So you don't necessarily need to, like, do absolutely every little puzzle. Because uh, normally with a hint, you, you have enough to kind of, like, takes like, like gives you enough in the equivalent information and if you did like three of the puzzles or something I mean it, it obviously depends a lot on on the place on the day on who wrote those puzzles. like there's a lot of variants I'm aware but are you aware that, that duck there is dizzy now that duck there is over there are, were you aware of that always make sure to check your mirrors at all time of day because there's some things you're just not going to be aware of. Look at all these bricks people just left on this train. This ain't no brick train! Apparently this is like for the pirates mining operation, which, I mean, that's not a thing pirates typically have. Normally they just kind of run races and like uh, throw cannonballs in order to make big splashes. And then the populace, like it votes on the nicest splash. And then you become like the pirate king for the day. Like that's typically what their your average pirate would you would do on their average day. Uh, mining operations in the woods. That's that one's it's, it's a little original. Let's call let's call it original. Oh, I want my duck to follow me. I want to show him around. You want to show him my home? Show him my house? You no, know, maybe maybe I'll impress duck with my stereo system. Like I. It's, it cost me a lot of money to set up, and if the duck sees that and is happy, you know, maybe they, they'll want to hang around with me a little bit more, you know? I, I feel like karma is telling me that maybe my uh, my thoughts here are not ex- Oh, so, okay, so see, I think that's it. Karma's telling you, hey, Alcow, you're heading the wrong direction. And when I realized that, karma gave me money. I understand. I can read the room. I get it. I won't do that. Let's finish the forest. Okay, yeah, we're gonna walk in the woods. Then we're gonna end up with a big skull someone put on top of the tree. But we're not gonna go up to the skull. We're gonna climb up the tree. Except we're not up the tree. Oh no, it's the thunder wave. It's the thunder cloud. And also haze. And spike thorn fruit. They're delicious. But do not sink in caramel. Uh, it's going to completely ruin the, um, the uh, vitamin distribution. And so, uh, oh, that was a double lightning there. It's double lightning, double frightening. Very frightening me. Uh, I'm not gonna go as far as say Galileo though. That is just ridiculous. It's a cloud super hard. It gives you so many lives, you become addicted to its gastric acids. Pretty weird how that's considered hell, but hey, I ain't here to judge. I'm here to play video. Yeah, check it out. I'm gonna put this thing here. I did it. It made a brrrr sound. But whoa! Uh, well, my my plan there worked perfectly. I panicked a little bit. The trees are all twisted. When the plant hits a tiny wall, it hurts. Yeah, you just jump over them. Like you've got a little hidey spot, and they're pretty fun. But deep down, all you need to do is is love. Oh, I want money. But a money did it. Do I want a dragon? I guess I got a dragon. Like, it's not like it gives you an extra hit. You get hit in any kind of way, and you're just back to baby Bowser. Smelling like dental floss, and... Whoa! Not properly used. Whoa! Santa Claus. Rigamalaria. Alright, okay, I think we made it somewhere. That was scary, man. Dragon is no good. It's no help. It makes sounds. 
Oh no, look at that scary barrel. There's an actual legit grave. There's a ghost with his ghostly purse. So, oh whoops. So he doesn't hurt you, but his buddies do. And uh, there you go. Uh, don't get frozen because it'll hurt. Then you do that. See, had I not messed up the other time. Well, you know, let's do the friendly loop. Bob it from below. Mess up completely. It's okay. It's okay to mess up. It happens to the best of us. Dang it! It's a funny little ghost. It looks pretty funny. He's got big old bug eyes. He's a he's a silly little man. I was okay. I was a bit more silent there. You know what? Not gonna lie. I was taking the fight a little bit more seriously than you'd think I would. But ghosts are just scary. You know, they got a weird pudgy head. I have a huge amount of money. I don't know why. What am I doing with all this money? What am I supposed to do with all this money? Wario, you're so circular. The only thing angular on you are your ears and shoes. Which is really weird. I guess your mustache too, but that's not as uh, prominent on this here uh, specific sprite that you are displaying for the world. Oh, uh, give me a moment here. I'm just gonna be ending this here. I don't know why this is taking so long. That's a lot of money. But, uh, and uh, that's gonna be it. That's the forest. It's done. It's done. And there you go. Next time. I don't know. I, I forgot how it kind of wiggled like that. What does that even mean?